was around 142,700. That's a decline of 9.9 percent compared to a year earlier, and it's the lowest for the first half since records were first compiled in 1981. The total fertility rate in the second quarter was 0 0.84. That's the average number of babies a woman is expected to have in her lifetime, and it was also the lowest for the second quarter on record. The total fertility rate for 2019 was 0.92, down 6 percent compared to the previous year, which was also the lowest figure since the records began in 1970. This ranked South Korea last among the 37 OECD member countries. Statistics Korea said the number of births is decreasing because the population of women in their early 30s is small relative to those in other age brackets. The number of babies born is decreasing because the population of women in their early 30s is low and the number of marriages has continued to drop since 2012. The number of marriages in the first half of this year was down 9 percent on year to around 109,000. This is the lowest number of marriages recorded in the first half since related data were first compiled in 1981. In the second quarter of 2020, the number of new marriages dropped 16.4 percent on year. A Statistics Korea official added that the number of babies born is expected to decrease further in the second half of the year and into next year because of all the weddings postponed amid the COVID-19 outbreak. Om ji Arirang News. Korea's already chronically low birth rate, even lower and speed up the aging population trend. According to the Bank of Korea on Wednesday, the pandemic is likely to expedite the existing downward trend in birth rates as fewer couples get married. The BOK says the demographic impact will last for at least a couple of years. It added that in 2022, the country's fertility rate is forecast to fall below 0.72, lower than an earlier projection made by Statistics Korea. Months. One mother says it's because of the cost of raising a child. I love my kids, but actually, it's not easy to raise children nowadays. So that's why I have just one. And I don't think I will be able to have another one. Another reason for fewer babies is that more people are getting married later, so women are older when they first give birth. The fall is attributed to a population decline in women in their 30s. The number of marriages has also continued to drop since 2012, which has raised the age of first-time mothers. The number of marriages has been fairly low. In September, there were only 15,324 marriages, down 3 percent from a year earlier. To overcome these problems of low birth and marriage rates, it's important to create a social environment to support child care and families, whether it be in the form of more financial support or more policies. Despite the country's efforts to increase the fertility rate, there have been more deaths than births for 11 straight months. More than 24,300 deaths were recorded in September, up 3.4 percent from the same month last year and speed up the aging population trend. According to the Bank of Korea on Wednesday, the pandemic is likely to expedite the existing downward trend in birth rates as fewer couples get married. The BOK says the demographic impact will last for at least a couple of years. It added that in 2022, the country's fertility rate is forecast to fall below 0.72, lower than an earlier projection made by Statistics Korea.